the majority of my clothes come from Goodwill, so it's kind of like, I guess the vibe I would describe it, it's like, who wore it better, like me or your grandma? But that's a trick question, because women don't compare themselves to each other, you know? But like... Um, what's your favorite Halloween costume that you've worn? Some of them are weird, I don't know if I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> my freshman year of college, I was liberal trash, because I'm like, liberal, and I was like, people call me liberal trash and now I'm gonna be liberal trash and I wore like my Hillary 2016 shirt and my Democrat socks and I just like taped trash to myself and I look back and I'm like why did I do that? I can beatbox, <laughs> kinda, but like cause at a party recently like some people wanted to freestyle rap and I was yeah. like I got you and people were like what? You want me to? I don't know like, yeah. <laughs> I was impressed. Yeah. Yeah. I was in an acapella group for a semester. Okay. That's really cool. So yeah. I took that away from it. What's the most scared you've ever been? A little bit more serious. I think the most scared I've ever been. Um, I was five when my parents told me they were going to get a divorce. It was kind of presented to me as if like, oh, this might not be permanent. Like we're just kind of separating for a little while. So I think yeah, no one was scary, and then like realizing that it wasn't temporary, that was kind of what it really sunk in. Um, but I'm fine, you know, my parents are really civil and like I'm really lucky. Um, a lot of kids with divorced parents don't have parents that can be in the same room with each other. Um, and I just remember um, for all of my significant life events, they've always both been able to be there. I went out to dinner with both of them after inauguration and I'm just really lucky that I have parents that can be that way with each other. Um, and I still have both of them in my life, so that's really special. I have generalized anxiety. Sophomore year I was at the point where I was having at least one anxiety attack a week. And it was it was really bad, and I think I, I reached a point, I've been talking to my friends, and I was like, this isn't how I want to feel for the rest of college or the rest of my life. I, I started seeing a therapist again, um, and that was a big first step. And eventually I realized for me that I wanted to be on anti-anxiety medication. Um, and that's like definitely not something that works for everyone, but I do like to be open about the fact that I'm on that. For me, that's really made a lot of a difference, and it's I feel like it's enabled me to take back some of my life that I was losing from the anxiety attacks that I was having every week. And I mean, obviously I still have anxiety, like being on medication doesn't make it go away entirely, but just having a supportive circle around me, um, having a therapist that I feel comfortable with, and just... Um, being mindful, it's like all things that I feel like have helped me and I feel like I'm in such a better place now than I was last year. Um, and I'm grateful for my progress. I know that it's not linear, but um, I feel like I've made a lot of progress and like, I'm, I'm happy about that. I guess the best part of being in student government is the ability to like bring students together and make different kinds of change. Like there's just such a wide variety of issues that I get to work on as a member of student government. The students on this campus are so just interesting and have neat stories and I, I love getting to share that with them. The worst thing is knowing that not everything I do is going to make everyone happy. It's inevitable that I'm going to make decisions that some people are going to like and some people aren't. And that's definitely been hard to get used to because I'm, I'm just someone who cares a lot about how people feel. Um, very much a people person, I do care a lot about what other people think and making sure that others are happy. So, I, and that's kind of like that's what drew me to student government in the first place was like community building and you know making change that positively impacts others. The weirdest thing. People recognize me and I don't know them. <laughs> Sometimes a tour group will walk by me and the tour guide will be like, that's our student body president. And like most of the time that that's happened, it's when I look really gross. I was like leaving swim and I was like, I need to shower. And I was like in a sweatshirt and this whole tour group walks by and someone was like, oh, this is like Kelsey Vita. She's our student body president. And I was like, no, don't look at me. Like, <laughs> stop. I'm getting used to it. I don't know, and it comes from a good place, so it's okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Should so I say much. bye? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> bye, William and Mary. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>